Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting question, t square minus t cube equal to 2. We need to solve this question for t, so if you have your answer, your assumption, you can also write it in the comments below and then we will check our answer, so it will be, it will be really interesting. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract 2. Okay, so our first step, what we have, t square minus t cube minus 2 and equal to 0. So I really hope you understand this step. We just write this 2 on the left side, but with a negative sign. Okay, what we're going to do next? These two we can express as 1 plus 1, and this is a great way how can we express this, because, yeah, let's do it. So let's write 1 plus 1, and in a few seconds I will explain you why this, this expression right here is really great for us. So let's do it. So we have t square minus t cube minus, and instead of this 2, we write 1 plus 1. So I hope you understand it. I hope you understand it. What are we going to do next? Right now, let's open a parenthesis real quick. So yeah, we have t squared, so the same beginning, minus t cubed, minus 1 and minus 1. And a lot of students, you know, might be asking why we, why we do this, why we, why we write this 2 as 1 plus 1, because we have, like, more complicated question, yeah? And here's my quick response. This one right here, for example, let's write as 1 cube and this one as one square and then a lot of students like understand why why we did it because right here this one cube can be grouped with t cube and this one square can be grouped with with the t square so squares and cubes we can group uh, we can group together so we have t square minus t cube minus one square or one, one, cube, one cube doesn't matter let's write one square and minus one one cube equal to zero. And to be honest, according to this expression, we we, act, we actually we haven't checked, uh, we haven't changed uh, the expression because one square one, one and one, my one minus one. Right here we have we have minus two. So exactly we have the same thing. But uh, if we look at this question from a different angle, we have t square and we have one square. So we can group it, and we have I'm going to write it like that. Underline as t cube and one cube. So right now let's group our squares and our cubes together. First of all, I want to start with the with the squares. So we have t square minus one square. T square minus one square. And right now the same thing with the cubes. So we have minus, we have t cube, t cube plus one cube. T cube plus one cube. So right now, and once more, let's look at this question from a different angle. We have two parentheses. Right now, for example, let's scan this one. T square minus one square. And from school, you should know that this is, uh, we call this formula as difference of squares. And we can easily remember this formula. Yeah, we can easily uh, remember this formula. We have x square minus y square, for example. This have a difference of squares. So as a result, we can write it as x plus y times x minus y. Yeah, everyone knows about this, uh, about this formula. Right now, this one, this may be like a little bit complicated because this is not the classic one. Maybe this is, this is the most popular formula. This is the sum of two cubes. So right now, let's remember this. So we have x cube plus y cube, x, x cube plus y cube equal to. As a result, what do we have? We have x plus y and we have another parenthesis x square, x square minus xy and plus y square. And right now, according to these two formulas, let's apply the difference of squares right here and the sum of two cubes. Let's apply, um, let's apply right here. So let's start on the left side right here because it will be like a long, long line. So first of all, I want to start with the difference of squares. So as a result, we have t plus one. Yeah, we have t plus one and times t minus one. So I really hope you understand it. This is the e an easy case, yeah? Right now we have minus, we have another parenthesis. What can we get, uh, what can we get from, uh, from another parenthesis? We, we can get from here x plus y, so we have t plus one, yeah? We have t plus one, and in another parenthesis, what can we get? t square, so t square minus t, minus t, and plus, plus one. Okay, so I hope you understand. And right now, once more, let's look from a different angle. We've, we express as we used these formulas, but let's look closely what we can we get. We have the same expressions right here and the same expression right here. So t plus 1, yeah? So we can easily factor it as a common. So let's do it right now. So we have t plus 1, we factor it. And as a result, in the first parenthesis, we have we, 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 we left this one, t minus 1. So let's do it, t minus 1, minus, and in this parenthesis, t square minus t and plus 1. Okay, so as you can see, we factor our question, but with one really important moment, we have to uh, we have to uh, simplify this. Okay, so let's do it. So t plus one on the left side, on the right side, what what do we have? We need to open a parenthesis, so we have t 
minus 1. We can actually get rid of parentheses right here exactly in this case because we have an addition. Uh, we, this is a positive parenthesis, yeah? And this one is negative, so we need to change all the signs to the opposite one. So we have minus t square plus t and minus minus 1. So I hope you, I really hope you understand it. Right now let's change in order a little bit because I really hope you see that this is a quadratic equation but a little bit different order yeah so right now let's start with t plus 1 right here and on the right side on this right parenthesis let's simplify it or let's uh, like uh, add the, the same thing and let's change in order. First of all I need to start with this uh, minus t square because this is a quadratic equation so we need to change in order so minus t square uh, what do we have one more? We have t and t, we have 2t, so plus 2t, plus 2t, and minus 1, minus 1, we have minus 2, minus 2, and equal to 0. Really great. Right now, a product of two parentheses equal to 0 when the first parenthesis is equal to 0, so we have t plus 1 equal to 0, t plus, uh, t plus 1 equal to 0, so I need a lot of space right here, so t plus 1 equal to 0, and from here, t first is equal to minus 1. We can easily solve real quick our first real number root yeah we have real quick our first real number root right here we can uh, write into the same equation so minus t square plus 2t and minus 2 is equal to 0 right now let's multiply it by a minus 1 let's do it right now so we have minus 1 and as a result we have a classic order of signs so we have t square minus 2t and plus 2 is equal to 0. Really great. So we have a classic a quadratic equation. And there are a lot of ways how can we solve this question. Of course, this is up to you. I prefer a classic method of coefficients. So first of all, on the left side, because maybe there are a lot of students watching my video right now. So uh, that's why I prefer a classic, uh, a classic option, a classic way. So we have a equal to 1, b equal to minus 2, and c equal to, and c equal to 2. Really great. And right now, let's find real quick discriminant. I prefer every time solving a quadratic equation, I prefer real quick solving a discriminant, so b square minus 4ac. As a result, we have b square, so minus 2 square, minus 2 square, minus 4 times 1 and times times 2. Here's our discriminant, so as a result, what can we get from here? Minus 2 square, we have 4, minus 4 times 2 equal to 8. So as a result, we have minus 4. So our discriminant is less than 0. So it means that in this branch, we will have two, uh, two complex roots. So we, we have uh, t first. So right now, I'm going to use another indices for a complex ones. So I'm going to use t second and third. As a result, a classic formula, b minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over, all over to A. Right now let's plug in, we know everything, so let's plug in each of these elements into this spot. So as a result we have minus B minus, but B equal to minus 2, so minus minus 2, plus minus square root of discriminant, discriminant equal to minus 4, so minus 4, and all over to A, 2 times 1. Let's simplify this real quick. Minus minus 2 equal to 2, yeah, uh, plus minus square root of minus 4, Right now, let's split it. Let's express this square root of minus 4 as square root of minus 1 times 4. We can easily do this. And right now, in terms of a, a square root property, we can split it like that. We can write it as 2 plus minus. We can split it like square root of minus 1, we have to find firstly, and then square root of 4. And it, in this case, it's 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 great a great expression for us because square root of 4 equal to a 2. And square root of minus 1, this is our i, this is our imaginary unit. So right now, we can write it as 2 plus minus 2i over 2. Or another way, we can easily uh, uh, divide this numerator by 2. We can write it as 2 over 2 plus minus 2i over 2. And from this perspective, we can easily cancel all of these 2s, and as a result, we have 1 plus minus i. These are our two uh, two complex roots. So right, let's write this root right here at this place. So we have um, t uh, second, let's write with a positive sign, so 1 plus i, 1 plus i, and t third, let's write 1 minus i. So these are two complex roots. Let's underline it right here. Yeah, we have i right here. So this these are our two uh, complex root, this one is real number. So, and this is my solution to this question. A classic, a classic option, how can we solve this, this question? Right now, let's check real quick our t first. We know that uh, this is a real number, so we can easily uh, check, prove, we can easily prove our uh, first root. So in the beginning, we had t square minus t cube 
equal to two. Right now, let's check real quick our t first equal to uh, minus one. So as a result, we have minus uh, one to the power two minus minus one to the power three equal to equal to two. Right now, let's check real quick. So what do we have from here? We have minus one square. Of course, this is positive. Uh, we have negative sign right here, but this one minus one cube is also a negative value. So as a result, we have a positive because minus minus we have plus one cube equal to one. So a classic, a classic expression. And I really hope you see that um, this solution is absolutely correct. So we have a correct, a correct root. So we can easily underline that our solution is absolutely correct. We don't need to check this complex root, but of course, this is up to you. You can, you can solve it. You can check it right now without any problem. So everything everything is great. So we really hope you understand my solution. Write your thoughts, write your response in the comments below. And this solution is correct uh, because uh, there is like uh, the thing which is called like a uh, fundamental theorem of algebra. For example, we have an equation and when you scan what is the highest power, for example, in our case, the three, this is the highest uh, power. It means that it's a cubic equation. Yeah. So it means that we have three roots in total. How many real number roots? How many complex number roots? We don't know exactly, but three roots in total and we have the same case first, second, and third. Three roots, three roots. So this is like a quick proof. Maybe you're sitting in your exam and you don't have enough time to to analyze, to scan it. So you can easily scan what is the highest power, for example, t to the power five. And you say, okay, the fifth, uh, the five roots right here, 100%, maybe two real, three complex, three complex, two real, you know, a lot of combinations. But this quick tip helps you to uh, to solve this question correctly and to know a little bit more than the others, because maybe a lot of students Mm, do this mistake when they say, okay, the t cube, it means four roots, but this is the wrong way. t cube, it means three roots in total. t square, we know that this is like two roots in total. And of course, it grows, it grows with the power, it means the grow the amount of roots. So I really hope you understand uh, this solution. Once more, you can easily see the solution right here. You can easily pause the video and of course, write your thoughts, write your response in the comments below. It is a classic version. This is a classic solution to group X squares and cubes, but this is not a general case. For example, when you have like three right here, you can express this as two plus one, but what can you do with it? This is like a big question because uh, it, it doesn't work with the, with the three right here. Yeah. So you can also write your thoughts. What do you think about, uh, about this solution? So here's my solution to the question. Once more, you can see it, you can easily pause it and you can easily write your question in the comments below. Let's discuss a little bit about it because there are a lot of, a lot of people here, a lot of countries, a lot of different ways, a lot of different angles, a lot of different perspectives, you know, and it's also really great to, to discuss a little bit about this type of question and to see this question from a different angle because a lot of all people are different and, you know, it's, it's also really interesting to see it from, from a different angle, yeah? So I really hope you understand what I mean right now and thank you for watching, thank you for, um, for supporting my channel. I'm really grateful that I have that type of community, uh, a lot of people here and I really want to say thank you for everything, I really appreciate it and I'm going to do more more videos, more different challenges every day. So I really hope you, you enjoy it. So wish all the best in life. Take care of yourself and have a great day. See you in the next videos.